Well, hello and welcome. My name is Velma. You can connect with me at velmanoles.com. This is all about your leadership chat. What does that mean? You get to listen in on valuable insights from valuable leaders just like you. I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe so that you never miss another episode And if this is of value to you, please share the nuggets that you're going to take away from all these great leaders. We have a doctor in the house. So I'm just going to introduce him as Dr. Michael, because he told me, don't worry about the last name, but Dr. Michael is here in the house. And we're going to talk about what it means to be a valuable leader. So listen in, and I'm sure you're going to get some valuable insight. All right, here you go, Michael. I'm turning it over to you. Hello and welcome, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Velma. I'm so happy to be here and just to add value to our listeners. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, Michael. So tell, I, first of all, I'm going to call it. I, you know, I'm like from the islands of the Bahamas. So I talk real fast and, you know, get that little island thing going on. But you have a beautiful accent. So tell uh, tell the listeners, tell us where you're from and where you get this beautiful accent besides your parents giving it to you. So I was born in in Nigeria and um, and I came to the United States 14 years ago. And I, I, I trained as a physician, and, and but I'm also a minister of the gospel. You know, uh, we have a ministry uh, right here in Philadelphia where God lives and he visits other places. I like that from Dr. Miles Moro. <laughs> well, hey, so, they, what they, they say what? Philly is the, uh, what, isn't that the city of love, right? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, brotherly love. Brotherly sisterly, love, okay. And sisterly affection. So <laughs> that's where I live uh, for the past 14 years. We first came to North Carolina, so but we moved uh, to Philadelphia and it's been great. So I joined the John Maxwell team two and a half years ago. That's one of the greatest decisions of my life after working for an organization for 11 years, the Salvation Army, uh, serving the after school program as a program director uh, in the West Philadelphia uh, Salvation Army. I got an award 2018 as the employee of the year for the great Philadelphia area. And I was privileged to serve with uh, uh, the Pastor Tony Lewis and the wife. Uh, Sister Lavana Lewis, they are so phenomenal. I learned a lot from them, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so it was a great joy uh, getting to understand the system. Because one thing that God shared with me when I was in Salvation Army, he gave me uh, an acronym. I love acronym. I speak an acronym. Me too. <laughs> and, and that was S-U-G. And the S is study the system. That means I just came, I was born in a different system. I just came to the American system, say, study the system. And the U is understand the system. And then the G is give leadership to the system. So uh, right in that environment, you know, because environment determines your development. Uh, There was this uh, experiment being done. They put a fish, uh, a a shark, and they put it in in a tank. And it was uh, able to grow to eight inch inches, but they put the same, you know, uh, um, caliber of sh- shark in in the real ocean. In the that is a natural habitat, and it grew eight feet and more. The difference between eight feet and more in the right environment is phenomenal compared to the eight inches. So our growth is determined by the environment. That's that, that, that that's just beautiful. You got yeah. a nugget right there. Okay. So I, I don't want anyone to miss it, but mm-hmm. you're exactly right. I mean, yeah. your growth and your potential to yeah. reach your potential, your growth yeah. is really determined by the environment you're in. So yeah. if you change your environment, you yeah. change your opportunity for growth. And yeah. what a great analogy about yeah. the shark I, in the tank and exactly. in the ocean. Exactly. I, I, and that's why when we talk about environment, we're not talking about a geographical location. Right. We're talking about people. Right. Who are, who are the people you hang out with? I develop a concept called the LED concept. Mm-hmm. I learned this from Jim Ron. He didn't, he didn't use that name because my company, the name of my company is Esperanza Manifold Concepts. So I, I have a lot of concepts. I come up with a lot of concepts. Right. So the LED concept has to do with uh, the uh, talking about the environment, uh, meaning about relationship. Yes. So what does, what does it mean? And I give each of them a color code. So the LED concept talks about this, 
the L talks about limited association. Okay. And there are some people you need to limit your association with. Mm. You need to spend less time with them. Yeah. Based on the kind of value they are adding to you. We're talking about a valuable leader, a valuable person. Right. Some people then, let's go to the E. The E is what we call expanded association. Okay. There's some people that you're supposed to spend more time with. Right. And those people, they had more value to you. Mm. Then the D talk about dissociation. There's some people that you need to disconnect yourself from. Yeah. You see? And the L, we talk about limited association. I gave it a yellow code. The expanded association, I gave it a green color code. And the dissociation, I give it a red color code. So using this color code and this LED concept, you can put yourself like that shack that was put in the ocean. Right. In fact, the limit is more than eight feet, but at least a minimum of eight feet. You can compare eight feet to eight inches. That's no brainer. You know, so you need to watch who are you with. Uh, right. In my second book, uh, I wrote uh, a statement that your friend determines your end. Now, if you look at the word friend, it's a six-letter word. The last three words is E-N-D. E, yeah. So where you end up is based on the kind of friendship. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. So you are dropping some real nuggets here. <laughs> it sounds like you practice and all. And you no, don't no, even, it's, I know. It's, it's inside of me. <laughs> I know. You don't even know the questions that we're going to ask you. And you drop <laughs> all these nuggets. And so, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so, you, you know, my question is, who in your life has been or is a valuable leader and why do you say that they are? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I just mentioned one of the person in my life that has been a valuable leader, Dr. Miles Monroe. I remember the, the uh, about um, 19 years ago that I, 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 uh, I was in medical school. I learned that Dr. Miles Monroe is coming to town. I said, wow! Dr. Morris, coming to town. I'm gonna be there. Oh wow! Uh, and that time I was, you know, being a medical student, I was doing an, an examination, but I don't really care. I'm going. I don't. I'm going. Yeah, I just forget that exam. <laughs> you know, I, I know I'm gonna pass. I had a great time. That's that's what, but that's that's the best. My best exam in, in the medical school. But I was just right. excited about opportunity of getting to hear him live you know right so right, i was right. there and I, I i didn't even know i would be able to see him one-on-one -on -one and shake his hand i never knew so as he finished speaking oh no that was an impactful message he mm -hmm. was sharing so many stuff that night so i was looking for a friend of mine that we were in the same discussion group and here comes dr miles entering his car wow I reached out. He shook my hand. As I feel like holding that hand. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, value is one of the most important things in life. You can give what you don't have, you know. So, and Doctor Mice is as has been one of that person. And the other person uh, is uh, Bishop David Oyedepo, and this man is uh, uh, the, the church he built was uh in 1999 was the largest single building in the world at that time okay but right now is working on a new project called the hack project that will be sitting 300,000 people Jeez. you know and that's i mean there's no way in the world you can see that so he's a friend he called uh dr mike Morrow is twin restoration brother right so he has two universities, private universities in Nigeria, the mm -hmm. Covenant University and the Landmark University, and he's the chancellor of both. Okay. So when he started the Covenant University, one of the person that did the orientation was Dr. Miles Morrow. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is that value is like a glue. Mm. You see, when you have a strong, a kind of a value system, it will attract you. To the people that have such value. That's why yeah. he and Dr. Mice, they were really close. And he's been to his church several times to share. And so, and, and that's why both of them are really kind of big influence. Another influencer has been Dr. John Maswell. Yes. Uh, the first time I read his book, uh, way back, I was pastoring in the uh in the college. 
So one of my members that I was pastoring, he lives in Pennsylvania now, and he brought the book, uh, Developing the Leadership uh, in You. Right. And then and 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 around you, when I read those books, it changed my life. Wow. It exposed how bad a leader I was. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, because I was really a positional leader. Yeah. And now you're talking about level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. It's like, wow, I'm real, I'm in a real mess. We got Thank a long God way to go. <laughs> for this book. And what I learned in the book, this was so real to me that. I was taking note. Mm -hmm. I have that note with me for years. Yeah. I go over those principles. It has helped me to lead. Even before coming to the United States, I was able to lead. I was working in uh, with uh, the CMDA. CMDA is the Christian Medical Dental Association. Okay. Okay. I, work, I work with professors and I was the executive uh, okay. secretary. So I was able to lead. I mean, without any feeling that I'm not a professor, I don't have all this degree that they got. But they saw that I have something. Mm -hmm. By the point, I was calling the shot in the association. You know, uh, they didn't like it when I was coming right here because we had a national conference, uh, the state where I lived and we hosted it. Yeah. So Dr. John well really impacted me. So, But when I joined the John Maswell team, uh, that impact went to another level right. because for some time I lose track with some of his books. Now, part of the team, I get to start reading his books getting to drink directly from him yeah wow you know and you hit on a couple of things from <laughs> all of the mentors that are valuable leaders in your life you said a couple of things that i think thread together and that is that you know you can give something that you don't have yeah. because you don't sometimes even know what your value is no. to someone else um and just the fact that you know a, a leader accepted you i love that you know yeah. they accepted you and, but they didn't just leave you where you were. They impacted you, whether it was Don, John Maxwell through his yeah. books or Miles Monroe through his speech, speaking engagements that you got to go to, you know, or the bishop that you talked about, yeah. how he's impacting, changing lives. So, yeah. um, you know, valuable leaders come into our life and they yeah. don't even realize sometimes the impact that they're making. Yeah. But let me ask you now. So we've talked about valuable leaders that have come into your life and that are making an impact and continue to do that. Well, I know you're not the kind of person that just soaks it all in. You're not, you're not the, the river, you're the oh. reservoir, right? Oh, you know? yeah. You're flowing, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so tell me here, um, how do you, uh, Michael, how do you make an impact to others to be a valuable leader for them? Wow, that's awesome. And you know, the uh the, the most important thing in life is to be a river and not a reservoir. Right. I, I did a training one time, live training in Maryland, and I really emphasize <clears throat> the need to be a river and not a reservoir. And by the time at the end of the training, I gave everybody a name. So a first name, River. And I said from today call them river, river before you call their name to remind them of the necessity to be a river mm -hmm. because uh elana learns tough and uh they try to really you know kind of like put it in a reservoir but a leader doesn't do that right. a leader is a learner that choose to share what they are learning there are five things every leader should do every day. And um, and, and those things are every day a leader should learn. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah, be uh, a learner. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, every day a leader, a leader must prioritize. You must prioritize. Prioritize. Yeah. What yeah. is important? what 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 you do with your time, you have to Love prioritize. It. And every day a leader must apply. Okay. okay. So because uh, knowledge without application will never lead to transformation. Right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Then every day a leader has to evaluate. Evaluate. And how do we evaluate? We evaluate through reflection. Mm -hmm. And in terms of reflection, we ask ourselves three questions. What went right today? What went wrong today? And what can I do differently? Tomorrow. Yep. You know, so that is the reflect start, reflection starter kit. And the, the fifth the leader should do every day is to share. Hmm. Yeah. So when we go by those five things, we learn every day. 
Yep. We prioritize every day mm -hmm. and we apply every day. And then every day we evaluate okay. because it's not, experience is not the best teacher. No. Evaluated Blind experience. experience. Evaluated experience. Yeah. Is the best teacher. Mm -hmm. So the last one is we share every day. So I find a way to share. Uh, for instance, I share on LinkedIn every day. I share inspiring quote. Then I just started of recent ATM, a teaching Monday, every Monday. Yep. Then I do something on Tuesday called Testimony Tuesdays. I share some of the clients that I've worked with, what they are saying about me. Because someone said, you know, the only, uh, the shortest letter, the shortest word in the English language that contains the four, six alphabet, A, B, C, right. D, E, F, is feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and feedback is so important. Yes. So I like to share the feedback so that people can see what the people that I have served, right. what they are saying about me. Excellent. Yeah. I appreciate that. You also dropped some learning in there for us. You gave, yeah. you shared some learning as well. Yes. Um, yeah. So let, let me ask you my next question. And, and that's for the audience. Because you know when, when people are taking their time and they're investing, because I think this is an investment of your time. Yeah. You know, what, what would be one big takeaway? You, you've given us so much today, Dr. Michael, and I'm just so, you know, I'm so proud of you. But what would be one big takeaway you would say, you know, if I could give one thing to the listeners today, for anybody that listens to this, that eavesdrops in um, on how they could become a more valuable leader, what would that takeaway be? Yeah, the takeaway would be an, an acronym that I created called LEMP. LEMP. Okay. L A M P. L A M P. Okay. <laughs> okay, bring it home. <laughs> okay, I told you. I when know. I was, okay. you know, when I was in medical school, I, I have like four hundred and more than four hundred students in my class. So I created this group, and a mnemonic club, where we can simplify knowledge. I, I like simplicity, yeah. you know. So I break all those complex things that they've taught us. And that's one of the things that my client talks about me, that I have a way of uh, taking things that are complicated mm -hmm. and making it simple and sharing it in, an, in a simple way that is easy to remember and to apply. Okay. And that's that's why I use all these uh, acronyms. Acronyms, right. Yeah, so exactly. LAMP, okay. Yeah. So what I can take uh, as a takeaway for people is LAMP. So the lamp is this, you know, and you can use this to apply to any area of your life. Now, the L is learning, learning, making learning a priority. Mm. And when we talk about learning, uh, Tofla, you know, he defined learning that the illiteracy of the 21st century are not those that can read or write, right. but those that are unable to learn unlearn and relearn mm, learn unlearn and relearn relearn hey got it so that means the definition of uh, literacy illiteracy has changed yes it's not oh you literate not because you can read or write mm -hmm. but the question is are you ready to learn right are you ready to unlearn or relearn those things that you've known right. so the a part is applied application mm. you need to be up you need to find a way to apply what you're learning why is this important when we start applying what we are learning you're creating a personal experience mm. uh if i come to you uh uh velma and you told me this thing works but if I didn't put it to work, I won't have my own personal experience. I won't have confidence in what it is. I won't be able to tell others that this thing works. Right. So when we apply what we are learning, I just talked about five things earlier on about uh, every day we need to learn, every day we need to prioritize, every day we need to apply, every day we need to evaluate, and every day we need to share. If you do those things every day, you will see the changes that will come to your life in 30 days. Mm. But until you do it, it's yeah. not education that leads to transformation. It is application. Yeah. yeah. Knowledge, is always, not, knowledge, is not, knowledge is not power, but it's the application of knowledge yeah. 
yeah. that becomes power. Right. So the M is uh, mentorship. Mm -hmm. I, you know, there's a vital need for mentorship. You see, uh, it's good to learn. It's good to apply what you're learning. But if you will only wait for your own experience, it will take a long time to get to where you're going. Right. We need mentors in our life. Why? Mentors, they deliver us from tormentors. <laughs> mentors <laughs> deliver us from tormentors. Okay. Tormentors. Yeah. Sometimes we're the ones tormenting ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So we torment our ourselves way. when we don't have mentors. So we need mentors in our life. Right. You know, those mentors will help us, you know, to really uh, be able to, the things we are learning, they will give context to it. They will give mm -hmm. interpretation to it. Right. So through mentors, we can capitalize on other people's experience right. to get to where we are going on time. Mm. So that's the place of mentorship or coaching. Mm -hmm. Mentorship or coaching. They are all at the same uh, line. Then the last one is P. Now, for that P, I create a special concept that can never be compromised. Uh, it's called peer. P E E R. P -E -E -R. Yeah. Now, what does peer mean? <laughs> peer means positive, energizing and encouraging relationship. Very good. Positive, energizing, and encouraging relationship. Yeah. So you need a right peer because we can have a wrong peer. So peer mm -hmm. can be positive. That's right. why that's why I, I, I intentionally put that peer. Mm -hmm. Positive, empowering, and encouraging relationships. So it can be empowering or energizing or right. encouraging, but it has to be something that empowers you, that encourages you, you know, mm -hmm. you know, relationship. And why? The peers are the people going in your direction. Just like Velma is my peer. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I read, I, 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 she inspired me when I go to her page. She doesn't share trash. She, <laughs> She put out good information. That's why I can agree to be on our podcast. So you need to hear <laughs> because anyone that is not going in your direction is a distraction. Action. Absolutely. Yeah. That is why. So those uh, those things, I call it LAMP, yes. L-A-M-P. So with that, we can get to where we're going. I love it. I love the whole learning, the ap application, mentorship, yeah. Yeah. and of course now peer. And I love that fact that the peer is someone that's <clears throat> positive in your life, that's yeah. encouraging or energizing yeah. Yeah. Uh, in that relationship. Relationship, yeah. And we just, we talked about that in the pre-show. We talked about alignment, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Need, exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, you have yeah. your mentors, but you yeah. also need those. You, you also need your peer that yeah. you're learning together and yeah. going in that direction. Like exactly. in the Maxwell leadership team that we are both of us belong, I have a lot of peer like that, that I align with, I collaborate with. Right. And they make me better. They add value to me. Those are yes. valuable, valuable peer. Right. When you, <laughs> when you add value, you are making not only someone else's life better, but yep. you're making yourself better as well. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. All right. So now for our listeners, how do they contact Dr. Michael without the last name, but how do they contact you? How do they get, <laughs> you know, more information about you, what you do, um, learn about your masterminds, Sh share how we can, uh, how anyone listening in can contact you, Michael. I appreciate Well, to, to contact me, I'm on uh, Facebook as Michael. And then the last name K O K U. He's not going to tell us how to pronounce that name. I just <laughs> Don't want you to know. I've just tried. spell it right. Spell it right. Just spell you it know. right. He said. Yeah. Then uh, also I'm on uh, Link LinkedIn. Uh, yes. uh, the same name Michael Coco. Then I'm on. Uh, oh, cool. I got you. Uh, on on the gram on Instagram to on Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter I'm there as Royal Envoy. Yeah. That's my ministry. Okay. Yeah, really long, long yeah. um, Michael, I can't thank you so much for <laughs> joking with me, spending time having this leadership chat. Um, it's just been so much fun learning yeah. more about you. Hey, thanks so much for watching another episode of Your Leadership Chat. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button here and tap that bell icon so that you never miss another episode. I hope too that you'll give us a thumbs up on the video for a like. And then if you feel led, please share the video with those who need to see it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Your Leadership Channel. Bye for now.